this should work. Hey guys, some teacher voice. You can't turn your phone while live. Hey everyone, it's wanting us to turn our phone. Let's hope it works. Okay, hopefully you can still see the two of us. Okay. I'm gonna try and go live on Instagram as well so that we have different people tuning in. Let's see if this so sorry for being late guys we've just been having some technical difficulties and stuff um yeah this device is not letting me go live at all okay yeah um, i usually use like my husband's phone to go live on instagram um, but then I don't know what's going on with this device. It's not letting me go live at all. So just say hi, where are you watching from? Say hello. Hi, where are you watching from? Let me see if I can put my phone in silent so that um, people don't try to call me whilst I'm doing a live video. But hi, I have got a, a very, 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 very important guest with me today. So we're going to cut the conversation short because somebody has to go to bed. So, um, as you know, we've just been talking about um, building and different cut streams of income. And in my book, I spoke about building generational wealth. So obviously, I've got, the walk, I've got to walk the talk, if that makes sense. I've got to walk the talk. And um, it all started when I was working on my journals and my daughter's always seeing me work and she said, oh, you're doing another book. Um, I hope one day you get to do one for me or something like that. And that's when the penny dropped. I was like, oh, yeah, there's an opportunity for me to actually start building something for her instead of waiting for my business to start generating enough income and then pass it down why not get her to run her own business so apparently kids like these are called kidpreneurs so you know how these entrepreneurs how these mamapreneurs there's also kidpreneurs so you know kids kid owned kids owned businesses if that makes sense but anyway before i get into the heavy stuff how have you guys been where are you watching from just say hello and make sure you subscribe to our channel <laughs> Well, this is not YouTube, so they can't subscribe, but I'll tell them where to, where to follow you if you want them to come to your, to your Instagram. So this is the Instagram. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, we're going to be talking about building generational wealth. Okay, so that's why I've got my daughter today because um, for the past couple of weeks, we've been working on her business um she'll tell you all about it in a minute in a minute um so yeah we're talking about generational wealth what things that you can do to i wouldn't want to say securing your kids future or your children's future because only god can do that but he can also give you the wisdom and obviously i can't really give advice as of yet i'm just sharing what where i'm on uh where i'm going what i'm doing and what path i'm currently on to actually walk the talk which is building generational wealth so in terms of what inspired me to build generational wealth um it was the story of megan and harry i don't know i think most of the people watched it yeah do you know her megan and harry no okay so yeah, Megan and Harry, and um, I remember when Harry was talking about where about the part where I think they got kicked out or out of the. It's actually not funny. They got kicked out of the the shop. No, the the the, the palace or something. No. Yeah. So um, they literally didn't have anywhere to go, and they their funds got cut. So which means the UK is not providing. For them is not paying them and you know they're not getting any money um because obviously it's the it's the business isn't it and then um so apparently he was saying he used his uh trust fund that his mother diana set up for him so if you think diana died is it like 20 years ago but by then she had already put things in place now 
if you think that Diana was married to a prince and of course they ended up divorcing and stuff however um, it's as if there was just something in the back of her mind that just knew that she couldn't rely on um, on the income on the business or the 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 money that comes with the royal family she knew that I need to sort something out for my children something separate from um, the royal family and just in case something happens so sometimes I feel like a lot well or most of the times a lot of people tend to rely on um, the family business or maybe your, your spouses or something like that and think oh yeah my my children's future is secure because me and my husband have got a business or me and my family we've got a business however things can happen he his funds got cut off and things happen and now his security is being cut off they've taken everything that comes with their name so you just never know what's going to happen that's what i'm trying to say and um i realized that as a mom um i've got to be intentional about leaving something for my kids i've got to be intentional about building generational wealth something that is in their name and someone will not come after them or anything or anyone really will not come after their um resources in the name of family name or in the name of anything because you know if if, if there's anything that's attached to um names of several people and then it can be easily claimed and you know they can do easily lose their voice i'm sorry she's talking to you about this you can hear her she's a fast talker yes so yeah I'm, I'm thinking of the time and i'm actually bothered i'm wondering why this instagram was not letting me go live and i'm wondering what why is this happening like seriously is it the phone um but yeah um the other example uh the other source of inspiration is actually candy i watch real housewives of atlanta if anyone who watches it please type in the comment section real housewives is the real deal i'm not there for the drama okay i mean the drama can be entertaining to some extent to some degree but i'm there to learn some things how these because these women some of these women are clearly making it they're clearly um making and claiming some revenue somehow for them to maintain those kind of lifestyles of course i wouldn't know what's going on behind the scenes i can't speak for that but based on what i've seen i've seen how candy builds is intentional about building generational wealth for her kids so i know that they her and her husband they build a restaurant uh, i think it's called the old gang something something and um yeah and then after that they've just recently built a steakhouse in their son's name i can't remember the son's name but i'm sure that's their son's business so although her and her husband already got businesses together but she's building things in her son's name and i'm sure there's in something for riley i'm sure there's something for for kayla i'm sure that there's something for the other kids but you can see how she's being intentional about building that generational all that only in their name that in case if anything happens in their family or between her and Todd, then um, you know there's something in her son's name so yeah um that's what got me to start obviously my daughter is the greatest source of inspiration she pushes me she keeps me going she challenges me in so many ways i can't even start to mention them but yeah she challenges me in so many ways i do not challenge my mom she well just, she just challenged herself well you don't know the things that you say to me that make me feel like what i can do this oh yeah i can keep going so that's what i mean you challenge me yeah so you need to listen and hear what i'm saying so yeah um I, she challenges me in so many ways that i can't even describe um and yeah that comment that she said i, I wish you could do it for me or hopefully one day you'll be able to do it for me already i was like oh yeah might as well do it for her you know so do you want to talk about your business yes go on so tell us what your name is Marco, and my shop is coming up really well yes you see i have all of these books really good oh, in my hand yeah and i'm saving the goodies at the end yeah so so the first one is the one for the learning one yeah you can just learn um if you are if you don't know or maybe and there's like um 
um, maze challenge. You have yeah. to um, challenge this. Mm -hmm. Like there's a girl to get to this uh, cupcake. Yeah. This yummy cupcake. Yeah. And all kinds of different ones. Yeah. And... So what's this book called? Kids Mind Games? Yeah, so this is the Kids Brain Games, okay? So it's got different kind of mind stimulating activities. You've got the maze challenges, you've got the... Um, these ones, the word searches, so vegetables, so familiar words that kids at this age are starting to expect to be able to read um, fruits, for example, to encourage them to eat healthily and baking. I don't know about, I know most kids that are into baking, so we try to find some words that they like. And, and if with. you do baking, you, you can do this if you want. If you don't do baking, you, it's okay. You can still do this. Okay, there you go. There's a bit of um, some encouraging words. And then you've got the dot to dot. This helps with how a child gets to hold the pen. So it helps the kids with the, is it pen control or how to hold pens? It's pretty much uh, teaching them how to hold a pen properly and how to write. So doing the dot to dot things, it just helps them work on their grip when they're holding a pen. And then you've got different kind of things. So you've got Sudoku as well. Um, it's a very easy one. And then you get the answers at the back of the page. So well, if you use a pencil, you can always erase it and then you can try again. So yeah. Um, this one, this is the kids' brain game. You can see it's a bit of a smaller size and there's different kind of activity inside. So it's really to just get the kids thinking. It's perfect for um, for those times when maybe you don't have your iPad or you don't want them to have too much screen time. You can just give them this and they can work on their books. I've realized that since we've introduced these books, um, Marco has been spending less time on the screen. So obviously, most of the times when she gets back from school, it's all about iPad, iPad. But this can encourage kids to spend a bit more time um, doing something that is productive and working on something that is, you know, more mind stimulating and not just screens. Of course, iPads and phones and laptops can still help kids to, you know, work in their education and stuff like that. But it's just something authentic that comes with working with a book. So what else have you got on there? Um, this yeah. So I got my notebook. This one is a little bit bigger, but it's okay. So, so, um, um, in here you can write, um, how your day is. Yeah. Oh, you can write your stars if your books are coming up. Yeah. And, and how well you're doing at school and how you feel. Mm. Um, how you feel. How you feel in your life. Oh, right. Okay. And um, I haven't started this, this book. I started one of them, but I don't, but well, not this one. Okay. Not all of them. Okay, that's fine. So with the cover, with this one, we've had to revamp the cover a little bit because, um, yeah, we had to make some minor modifications. However, we'll tell you where to find these, okay? What's your next one? You can tell my, tell my, um, own stars. If your kids doesn't want to do that one, you might think of something else and maybe like this one because you have to draw mm. but white. Right. You can just let them do the drawing first yeah. and then do the writing um, last. I think that will be a little bit quicker. Okay. This one I started like two pages, you see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you've written down your story. And you've done your drawing. So yeah, that's Marcus pretty little drawing. I wonder if you can and see And I it. don't and and um I don't as space here. Oh you've got space there. Yeah. Yeah. But so this is um it's now uh we've relabeled it to write your own story because it was kind of seeming confusing to other people. But yeah, write your own story, let kids use the imagination and 
with kids sometimes they're not able to tell you what's going on at school or maybe what's bothering them so you can always explore their feelings using books and you can just ask them to draw you know anything that they want and write a story or you know write at the book um on the lines exactly what's happening in the picture and it can be a way sometimes of figuring out what's going on in the in the kid's mind what their imagination is about what exactly are they interested in you know kids can actually express themselves through drawing and through writing so the more you encourage them the more you get to actually see and understand what they're on about or what's happening what's bothering them what they're excited about their greatest interest and those kind of things so yeah yeah, write your own story again you know the quote that says if you can't find the book on the shelf write your own allow these little kids to be their their little authors in their own little world you'd be surprised by the things that you actually don't know about them or the things that they like or they're interested in so this again is um it really helps let's say sometimes you could actually order this even for a party and you get kids to do an activity where you ask them to write a story um if you want you can just rip out a couple of pages and you give them to the kids and they can write their own story um they can color in and stuff like that you and, can and if um if they want more just just give them another book if they want they can, you can just give them another book yeah um you can also use them like um when you're traveling as well so if you're traveling and um or maybe you're in a restaurant sometimes it's quite handy to have of course it's quite big but yeah you can just put them in their bag and if you're waiting especially these days i know in some restaurants it's taking long for the food to come this is a very great way of getting kids to to be kept busy this is quite small as well it's a good size so it can easily fit in your bag depending on the types of bags that you carry but this could be a way of keeping kids entertained whilst you're waiting for food same as the notebook as mark was said that you can use it to write your feelings and um this is suitable for the kids aged six and above so she's six now she's able to write in a notebook so she's got a lot of notebooks that's why we ended up designing one that is for her uh, we've put her in the front the black girl with the curly hair because we want her to be proud of the curly hair we want her to be proud <laughs> wow we want her to be proud of her black skin there aren't many many I think, white I think skin black skin yeah white skin in in people's lives because because you know how there's so much white people and there might be so much white people in books yeah so we decided to do one what's brown yeah that's correct there you go she said it perfectly she decided to do one that's brown so we want more brown skin girls her skin yeah, just like pearls <laughs> yeah we want more of them you know not just think about it but not for just them to just be known to twerk and not to do well in life and all of these things but to also be insp inspired in their education to do well in their school and you know so we just don't want black kids to be associated with things like only toys or uh, twerking and music videos and stuff we want them to be inspired even with books to say you know what they are black kids that are in school they are black kids that you can see on books that are making it i know so far the society is pushing um and is trying to make it known that there's actually successful black women yeah so she can be a successful black woman all right and i believe you, you need to provide the right resources for them for them to flourish and also to build their confidence because day in day out even as even when they're young their confidence is crushed because um of, of all these things that are happening around us but as parents you can just say look okay we let's try to normalize black girls seeing more black girls like them on educational books not in silly videos not in twerking videos not in things that are silly not scary and not scary videos but in actually things that can actually benefit kids which is educational books okay um whilst you're on that um should i talk about the stickers 
so stick has um you can stick the Mary anywhere you like. Yeah. And you can also draw with them. Okay. As as if they stick together, that's okay. Just cut the hair. If you're still little, you can just get a parent to help you. Yeah. If like her key across the road. <laughs> Okay, there you go. So we've got stickers as well. We know kids love stickers. I know my kids love stickers. Obviously, the sad thing is sometimes you find them everywhere. You find them everywhere. I find them on my lamps. I find them uh, on the back of my car seat. I find them everywhere. But guess what? They keep these kids entertained. They, it keeps them going. So we decided to create some um some black girl version stickers if that makes sense obviously we're trying to cater for all kids but there's enough for everyone and not enough for the black children or the black african society if that makes sense whether it's black african or american whatever it is there isn't enough that's out there well according to me if there is i'm not seeing it out there yet so Please help us get our books out there so that we normalize seeing black people. It's not a matter of thinking, why shall I promote another children's, someone else's child first or out there when I can promote mine. You never know what blessings going to come your way. You never know what we can break in this time, in this society, in our societies, just by promoting black girl brand or black girl group um, out in the society. So what else have you got on there? So here's me. Bouncing girl hair. Yeah, so Marco, you actually has thick hair like this. <laughs> yeah, my, my I think my hair is longer than that. <laughs> well, yeah, it is definitely it is, but yeah, she she does have thick hair, so we didn't want to eliminate that and take that away from her on some of the designs. So this person who designed this, I sent her some of Marco's pictures and yeah she did a good job you know from the color of the skin the eyes the teeth as you can see smile <laughs> okay the smile the hair of course she's got braids now but she really has that thick big black hair kinky hair <laughs> and it's beautiful that's what i'm always telling her that your hair is beautiful you shouldn't be shy you shouldn't be embarrassed about going to school with the nice afro kinky hair and sometimes they just put a band here and let her go to school with the afro hair so um there are some kids either here in the first world or even in africa that are embarrassed and, and even some of my friends are like just playing with my hair like ooh, my hair so bouncy down <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it happens isn't it when they're fascinated however you need to be proud of your hair yeah. yeah you've got nice hair it's not about wigs of course i'm wearing one but yeah you know it's not about the the colored wigs it's not the the um, you know the other hair that's more beautiful we're all yeah. beautiful in different ways and doesn't mean that if yours is different it's not beautiful it's nice the way it is okay. yeah even the areas the some of them are black girls some of them are white girls. Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the other one. What if Sophie got? I got a sketchbook. Sketchbook, you yeah. Can, this one is like tell my own stories, but this one you just have to draw with it. Yeah, so this is for all age groups, isn't it? All age groups. For those kids maybe they're not able to draw or write on the fine lines. This is perfect for them. So if you've got kids that are below six and those that are over six you can get them the tell your own story and also the other one this one so yeah so that way you've got a combo yeah you've got a combination if you want marco um barely uses this but she's got a little sister that's five and she's still trying to perfect her drawings Four. yeah she's turning five next week so um she's still trying to you know get her drawing right and stuff like that although she's been a bit cheeky and she's <laughs> she's drawn something on there however um this is perfect to take with you when kids just feel like drawing pack some colors we're going to be doing colors soon as well to complement the books but yeah you can get some colors from pounds you can get some colors yeah that was my idea i was trying to ask you but it was too busy 
<laughs> I was listening as you can see I'm talking about it now um so yeah some colors you can just write in there you can just draw in there encourage them the good thing is you can actually do it with them so while she's doing on this page you can do it on that page or if you've got more kids you can ask them one draws on this page one draws on the other page that's what you normally do is it yes. with your sister you can ask them to draw on two or uh, um on the different on two different pages and you can keep this yeah it's not something that you're going to use and throw away you can keep this and you know um show your kids how far they've come what else have you got uh, Let's crack on. yeah handwriting book what do you do with that one you just do handwriting yeah so it's a blank with hundred hundred pages guys hundred pages and um when kids are starting to write i think after nursery when they go to reception they actually when they're nursery i think they start writing so yeah a handwriting book is to encourage kids to write uh, to practice writing without like looking and stuff so if they are right if they are learning to write their names that they can just write marco here or harmony there or nathan there or tinasha here or you know tendekai there and they just keep practicing keep practicing by the time they finish obviously it, realistically you can't do it every day you can do it as many as you can you can take the book with you so that even if it's over the weekend whether you're on the car or you're somewhere else they can just practice writing we want these kids to to nail it we want these kids to nail it i've seen that the more you do these things with them the more activities you do with them the better they actually do in school i remember when the covid started and we we're actually in lockdown um marco fell behind on her grades however when we got the report from the school and they said this is these are the things that you need to work on and we actually stuck with those things and she ended up being the top batch in her in her class and she's won like several awards as well having you and stuff in in class for her drawing and her creativity and all of these and things. And there was a girl who was better. She, her her drawing was so good. First that shell was tiny and then it got bigger. Boom. All right, but you you wanted a new. I think yeah. at that time. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the important thing it doesn't matter what anyone else did what matters is you won and then the last one this is the exciting one yeah <laughs> that's your favorite and, and this um write your name here yeah so that if you lose it somebody finds it somebody else finds it and, yeah and they will have everybody yeah if 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 somebody um sees somebody else do not lie. <laughs> Someone say she's big now. But yeah, so we've got coloring books. For once, it's not unicorns. <laughs> For once, it's not ducks and uh, worms and all those kind of things. For once, it's not frozen pictures with white girls and long gowns and stuff like that. For once, it is black girls in the, in our African dresses. Not all of them. But also, black, yes, black girls also do ballet. Marco used to do ballet before the, the whole lockdown situation. And we do wear these things on our heads, don't I, I? I do never wear that. No. I do. Uh, I'll, sh I'll, I'll show up next time. <laughs> if people comment, I show, I'll show up with my stuff on my head next week. <laughs> Depending on how many comments and how many views this video gets. But if I do get a good feedback, I'll turn up with my, uh, with my scarf on my head and no wig. But yeah. Uh, we do wrap scarves around our heads. We do have curly hair. We do have... And, and look, I was just saying I'm doing star jumps. This <laughs> we can't see you. Come close. And, you know, not not all just um, white girls can be princesses. You know, also the black girls with the curly hair. Just it's like not... um, Tiana. Um, yes in yeah the movie, she's a princess yes exactly she turns so, into a princess so i don't even know how many um disney princesses or prince black princesses we've got so far what? but if they can't give us some we're gonna make our own yeah we're gonna make our own princesses until there's enough out there but we're gonna make our own and black girls do go on holiday I'm, i know i'm i know i'm not queen elizabeth but listen Let's do the queen. All right. Okay. Wow. Yes. She's the queen. She's the queen, as you've heard. Yeah. I don't know what that makes me, but yeah, she's the queen in her world. I'm the queen in my house. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we've got. Um, there's a whole lot of them. It's a massive collection. Uh, and um, 
If you're loving a video, that's good. We're seeing lots and lots of love of hearts coming out. Oh, that's nice. You see, she's seeing your love, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Again, if you want to order these books, you can visit on, on Amazon. And you can just type in Marcus Kids Store. If you, I'll be posting the link tomorrow. Um about our books but yeah it's a massive collection you can't tell me there isn't one that's gonna work for your kids it, you can't tell me there isn't one that you're not able to get there's loads we've got we've tried to cater for all the kids if they like drawing is there if they like writing is there if they like coloring is there if they like freestyle we've got the freestyling books let's not let's normalize our black girls seeing more black girls if they can't make it for us we make our own all right so if you've got little nieces or baby girls out there um feel free to to buy for them it can be a gift if you want to buy the whole the whole thing as um package feel free to buy the, the 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 whole thing support her yeah so um we're trying to build um our girl uh something uh, for her shop. My yes. shop. Yeah. We Speaking. don't know how it's going on, but yeah, and we're hoping it's gonna go. Yeah, it's gonna go good. I believe so. I think it's gonna go well. Um, but obviously with your support, I think we're gonna go far. Remember, they stickers as well to compliment. So even if your your kids like stickers, whether it's makeup, we've got makeup. We've got one for holidays. We've got matte, transparent. Um, and and don't remember, I haven't got this book yet. Where's the coloring book? Um um, I haven't got the music one yet. Um, mm. but um, I think I'm gonna get it soon. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, what advice would you give for is if you got any nice words to say to other kids or other moms? I say thank you for watching this video, and um. I will, I will see what you're being texting after this video. Yeah. Mm. And anything you've learned about business? What have you learned about business? Well, I learned that it's good well, not to watch too much TV because um, 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 my eyes got hurt. When, when I was watching too much TV, the bright screen was on, um, and and the okay. So I what about business? Do. In terms of business, what have you got to say? Remember what you said to me last time. Mm? Any any kind words? <coughs> okay. So last time, Marco was saying that she wants to encourage other people to do books for uh, for their kids you know i think in summer she's just she was trying to encourage other moms um other families other parents even if you're a dad do something for your kids something and, that and also my dad already colored and i didn't even color i want to color with him oh yeah so do something for your kids do build something for them that even if if they get to see themselves it builds their confidence um, if they get to see this of inside so in the future we will be writing our own story and she, she gets to be part of it maybe with part of her her family her cousins her brothers and those the, the relationship i was just thinking about what about fathers and mother's day what about them uh that would be too many books <laughs> Well, no, it's, it doesn't matter if there's too many. You never know. Yeah, you never know. It's worth a try. We'll think about it and see how we can bring it all together. Okay. So everything, you just need to think it through and navigate through the, 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 the idea. Because it's just an idea, isn't it? Okay. So, yeah, we'll be, we'll, be, we'll be working on it and trying to grow it. So if you want to find her on Instagram, the link is on her Instagram. Please go and follow her. Go and support her. I want show... you to be my followers. Yes, and show her some love on Marcus Kids Store. Repost, reshare, talk about it. Talk to your friends about it. Talk to your family about it. Encourage another mother to, to, to order some. It doesn't matter where you are at right now. Amazon delivers everywhere. Amazon delivers everywhere. So order, even if they're in Africa, order them and send it to them so that they feel inspired they feel motivated and it's normal for them to see black girls on 
the book covers. And let them come here quick before the police. Uh, yeah. So that's all we've got today. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Someone has got to brush your teeth and go to bed. Yeah. We will meet next week. To next week, I'll be talking about something else. But yeah, if you're a mom, keep pushing. If you're a dad, keep pushing. Keep working. But also, yeah, I just pray... I just pray that may God reveal to you an idea for you to start building generational wealth and other streams of income that will look after your children if, if you're gone. The same way that Diana and Harry and, you know, the trust fund that she left for him is looking after him and his family today, although she's been gone for nearly two decades now. So, yeah, whatever stories that we hear, may that those May we not just talk about them, but may they be our sources of inspiration and motivation and allow us to think on how to move forward and how to do better. It doesn't mean if your parents didn't manage to do so, or if your parents failed to do A, B, and C, now the fate is in your hands to, to, to break generational curses and to start doing things differently. It's, your, it's in you now to birth something that's new, regardless of what happened in the past or what you felt to do before even no matter how old you are you can even still start now it's not just about the the usual ways but god can start revealing to you unusual ways on how you can start building that game come it doesn't have to be books but there's so many smart ways or godly not godly ways but god way <laughs> god ways that you can actually um, f um start pursuing and stuff like that to to kind of you know look after your kids if i die today at least i know that i've built something for my kids and everything um, um especially in her name there's there are things are set up in a way that it goes straight into her account so it doesn't even come to me i don't get to chop the money or, or do anything or spend it unwisely it all goes to her so you know just be smart about it and also involve god in everything so we are counting on you guys to help us spread the word and to help us you know and support us support her business and build um to build my little girl's business and future and also her children's children we pray that they will learn from her and they will benefit and feed from this business. So thank you so much for joining. Until we meet next week, we'll be talking about something else. Ta-ta. Goodbye. <laughs>